If you had to begin making a list asking any starting out YouTuber, podcaster, or streamer what might they want for Christmas this year, you're probably going to see the name Blue Yeti ticking up a good chunk of that list. My name's Brad, welcome to my channel, and today we'll be unboxing the Blue Yeti Blackout Edition, while covering the core features that have helped this company establish themselves as the go-to USB microphone. If you want to see more unboxing videos, head on over to the playlist at the end of this video for more content. If you're also considering purchasing a Blue Yeti, please feel free to use the link in the description below as it helps support this channel and doesn't cost you a penny extra. I had a little trouble getting this out at first. It is definitely tightly packed. Kudos to Blue Yeti, well, or to Blue, for the packaging. Uh, the mic was super secure when it came in there. As you can see, I was definitely struggling to get this out of the box. But eventually, it wiggled its way out. Obviously, didn't want to force it. All right, and here we go. All right, so when you first open up the box, USB cable and its packaging, obviously for mic to computer. I'll show you guys the USB. Pretty standard USB-C into the Blue Yeti. Oh, sorry, um, micro USB. Um, some styrofoam package, paperwork, product registration, definitely recommend doing that. And then there she is underneath. Um, it is a heavy mic. With that stand, that thing is secure, I have to say. Um, again, great packaging, really secure, um, super sturdy. Uh, you're actually going to see on the bottom that there's this little rubber pad that they put so that the mic wouldn't uh, scrape or shift around. That was very nifty on Blue's part. Uh, so again, just overall build quality, really solid, great finish. Really happy that I went with the Blackout Edition. All right, we're going to move on to the mic itself. Very quickly, I'll show you guys the rubber bottom piece that keeps the mic in place when you purchase it. Underneath the top cover, the tri-capsule array with three condenser capsules facing different directions, allowing for multiple recording situations. The Blue Yeti Blackout Edition has a recording sample rate of 16-bit over 40 kilohertz and is plug and play with Mac and PC. There is a switch on the back that allows you to switch between the four recording patterns for different uses. First mode is stereo mode, which captures audio in front and to the sides of the microphone. Second, we have the omnidirectional mode, which is for everything capturing around the microphone. Third is the cardioid mode, which is only to pick up audio that's directly in front of the mic. And the last one is the bi-directional mode, which is designed to record equally on both sides of the microphone. There is also a variable gain knob on the back of the mic to control your volume, which is useful when you need to make adjustments on the fly. The front of the mic features a mute button which lights up to let you know it's on and a headphone volume knob to adjust for your headphone jack. The headphone jack is on the bottom of the microphone and one of the big features about the Blue Yeti is that it has zero latency headphone output. The micro USB cable plugs in right there that attaches to your mic and then into your PC or Mac. My first impressions after unboxing this are, I really like this microphone and can see what all the hype is about. The build quality is absolutely amazing, the mic with the stand is going absolutely nowhere, the design is gorgeous in my opinion, but to each their own, some may not like it, and some may find that the knobs feel cheap, but in my opinion, they are super solid. Now this may be an unboxing video, but seeing how it's for a microphone, there's no way I couldn't use it to test out the audio quality and get a real first impressions. If you didn't notice when I started describing the mic, the audio quality changed. That's because I began recording with the Blue Yeti so you can hear the quality for yourself and compare it to my old microphone that I was using earlier in the video. My old mic being the Audio-Technica ATR2500. Now you can be the judge for yourself and listen back in the video, but after listening back in my studio, it's loud and clear to me why the Blue is regarded by so many as the number one USB microphone. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned more about the Blue Yeti. Don't forget to check out my live streams at twitch.tv slash blesh where you can catch me using this new bad boy in action. If you liked the video, then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more future content.